it going, everyone? Liam Caddison here, and we're on episode number seven of season two for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is called Lie to Me. Last episode was a blast. I really enjoyed the Halloween episode. I'm assuming it broadcasted on Halloween as well. Otherwise, what would be the point? No, but last episode did uh, was the shot in the arm I feel like this season needed because uh, the episode the two episodes preceding at uh that episode wasn't as exciting as episode six was and uh yeah there's so much th there was just so much to take away from that episode about um the concept of being uh who you dressed up to be and how that fits uh into um uh how that fits into uh, into the characters as well as the mystery behind what is Giles hiding in his closet, which I'm hoping to find out very soon, because it's so intriguing. Like a character like Giles has something, um, something potentially dark behind his character. It's 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 an exciting thought, and yeah, hopefully we'll get to find out what skeletons are in his closet. Hopefully, no skeletons are in his closet because. Yeah, but um, with that said, let's get on to episode number seven. This is Lie to Me. Let's go. It's late. It's like midnight. If your mum has left you, you must... at this time... No. Oh, Your no. mum's just supposed to pick me up as all. Well. What the hell is she doing? doing? No, thank you. My mummy used to sing me to sleep at night. Good. Uh, and then catch. The lamb is caught in Kid, this would be a good time to bolt. She has no idea what's in store. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, this is not good. This can't go on, Drusilla. This doesn't look good it's at all. End. Oh, no, my pet. Oh, I thought she was going to go for the kiss. <laughs> How will I know what to wear? Do you own anything else? <laughs> uh, but we're not as such. No. Oh, I'm gonna the ship. All right, all right. I'll put myself in your hands. That sounds like fun. Pillar of a relationship. Okay, trust. tomorrow night, seven thirty, right? Yes. Hey. Hello. Um, at at least one ship's Boston? going well. Senior year at Sunnydale High. Dad got transferred. This is great. Hello, Ford. Why'd you think so? Didn't think you'd remember me. Oh boy. Xander's got that face on. Like, Duh. We only went to school together for seven years. You were my giant fifth grade crush. So, you two know each other. Oh, uh oh. I'm sorry. Um, this is Ford. Uh, Billy Ford, and this is Xander and Willow. Hi. Hey. So they've got a history. Sitting in my room listening to that divinal song, I touch myself. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds. Of course, I had no idea what it was about. Yeah. This is Ford, my bestest friend of all my friends. Geez, doesn't she know any fat guys? So oh, that's what that song is about. <laughs> oh my god, I love her. You cease to exist. No, I mean I stayed in, red. Roller deception chair. You really shouldn't you, you really shouldn't have girl. lied. Not thirsty. Hey Angel. Hi. This is not this awkward. Is Ford. We went with another cat. And they fought the cats. And then they left. Oh. I'm gonna use that from that. I thought you it were just a, a vampire. What? Wedding a what? I know, Buffy. You don't have to lie. I I've been trying he to knows? figure out the right time to, to tell you. I know you're the slayer. So he does know all of her just secrets. Like that, he told you? Me who commanded armies hundreds of years before you were born. What the sh? This guy. See, it was either gonna be he had something dodgy Angel, or he was going to die here? quickly. I wanted to. Uh, Angel, if I say something you really don't want to hear, do you promise not to bite me? Oh, she is adorable. Well, you do sometimes get that way. You know, I mean, you did with Xander. Things used to be pretty simple. Hundred years, just hanging out, feeling guilty. Really honed my brooding skills. <laughs> Come by tomorrow at sunset. I'll keep looking. Don't tell Buffy what we're doing, all right? 
You want me to lie to her? It's Buffy. Just don't bring it up till we know what's what. Okay, it's. We've got all of the, all of these lies going on, but maybe it is for the best, because she won't believe that Billy is doing is up to something dodgy. Where's the other one? I killed her. <coughs> I, I killed her, and she just turned to dust. It was amazing. No. No, I don't believe this guy. This guy is shifty to a degree. Didn't find anything incriminating. He, he let it go. Trail, no records. That's Our right. creatures above us, exalted. You're a fool. So this you is like some kind of cult, so maybe deviated away from Spike. Other viewpoints than yours may be valid, you know. Nice Oof. meeting you. You really are a people person. Well, nobody's got up on this nice lady. Well, some of my newer volumes may be more helpful. Uh, my own research has... <gasps> Woo! Woo! Okay! okay? Root! Oh, it took one of my books. <laughs> well, it was someone in the school. Sentence her to death! What might you guys have talked about, then? Old times? Childhood pranks? It's a little off, you two so friendly, him being the enemy and all that. I'll give you a They had a thing, didn't thing. they? The bird's dead, Drew. <laughs> exactly. It the cage, it didn't feed it, and now it's all dead, just like the last one. Irresponsible. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm a bad, rude man. I love Drusilla so much. I just like you going out minutes and I can't stand you. I don't really feature you living forever. Can I eat him now, love? Or feature this? <laughs> I'm offering you a trade. You make me a vampire. And I'll give you the Slayer. Dick! Why can't you just stay content to your fan by, uh, vampire fan club or whatever? Some would call it a fan club. Oh. She was an obsession of mine. She was pure and Sweet so he had a thing for her. And you made her a vampire. First I made her insane. Oh, damn. Killed everybody she loved. Visited every mental tort. I turned her into a demon. What? Well. Holy shit. I asked for the truth. Angel is in your bedroom? Oh, for God's sake. Santa. <laughs> Ford, if these people are still around when they get here, we'll be changed. All of us. We're going to ascend to a new level of consciousness. Become like them. You guys are want. fucked up. This is the end, Buffy. No one gets out of here alive. You know, you guys could watch Love Island, I and I would appreciate that than this fetish of turning into a vampire. Everything else is fair game, but let's remember to share, people. Yeah, sharing is sure caring. I want a tree. I need a tree. Oh and God. a special one you'll have. Lucius, bring the car around. I... Priscilla hey, just stuns no, me. No, I don't. It's gonna be bald and shriveled and it'll smell bad. Oh... No, I'm not going out that way. I'm sorry, Summers. Did I screw up your righteous anger riff? Does the nest of tumors liquefying my brain kind of spoil the fun? Okay, well, you try vomiting for 24 hours straight because the pain in your head is so intense, and then... I feel so bad for him. We'll discuss the concept of right and wrong. But being a vampire isn't still sheep. right. They want to be vampires because they're lonely. Miserable. But he's got a stronger motive. I don't have a choice. You have a choice. You don't have a good choice, but you have a choice. Bloody hell. Hey, here we go. It's too late. My arch nemesis. Oh, go on, Buffy. Go for her. Go for Drusilla. Oh, 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 oh,
course, you will deal with this. Uh, Too late! Where's the doorknob? Oh dearie. Hey, you got a new hideout! <laughs> I love his character so much. I handed her to you. Yes. I suppose you did. I mean, he so, did nothing wrong technically. What about my reward? Oh, your reward is gonna be total death. What is it? It's like the more I know, the more confused I get. I believe that's called growing up. Yeah? If you like to stop then, okay. I know the feeling. Someone take Buffy to easy. Neverland? Ah, shit! No, it doesn't. Yes, it's terribly simple. The good guys are always stalwart and true. The bad guys are easily distinguished by their pointy horns or black hats. <laughs> we always defeat them and save the day. No one ever dies and everybody lives happily ever after. Exactly. Liar. Even in, even though I said lie to me, that was still terrible of a lie. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, sometimes the truth does like sometimes. Yeah, the uh, uh, the theme was just pointed out there. Like sometimes it is better to to lie than the ugly truth because because we don't live in a in a world where we can we can be satisfied with um. Like sometimes the lie is more is more of a pleasant um, is more of a pleasant light than than the truth because it all goes back to that the truth has it's it's a bit of pill to swallow uh, swallow isn't it so yeah so that was um, a pretty solid episode I really loved how strong this episode was like Bill it was really well done and. Uh, yeah, um, like the last episode, it was very strongly written. There was some clever writing behind this, especially the brain tumor twist. Uh, we had some deep characterizations, and we developed a lot of back, uh, a bit of backstory as well, especially between Angel and Drusilla. And yeah, this was a solid episode. Um, I really appreciated this story so so much. Um, like especially with Billy and and not just that though, but who he was surrounded by, the Fang Club. I said that like several times during the episode, and um, yeah, because I wanted to catch on. People need to like it. Should I'm I I'm absolutely shocked that it wasn't actually called that, uh, because they were fans of um vampires. They wanted to be like them, um. Which, I guess you, like, look, just be like me and play video games and be the loser, okay, that I am. Just, just don't turn into a blood-sucking leech. Why? Um, but, um, yeah, we had that, in all seriousness, we had that appreciation. Um, uh, like, there was that appreciation that we had this, like, club devoted to vampirism. And we had someone who had a more stronger motivation than than uh, their aspirations to being like them, uh, which I like. I felt like with the with the um, brain tumor revelation that really added a new layer onto this story because you sympathized so much with Ford. Was his actions wrong? Yeah, it was. Um, even Buffy uh, stated that. Um, it was completely understandable because you resonated to his fear. He was scared and he wanted to be cured from this. And I do resonate so much with Billy um, in terms of his fear about not wanting to die young. Especially with, with like, he's only, what, around Buffy's age? Um, and he's fairly young. He, like, he's not even in his 20s that he's got a brain tumour. And it's not able to be cured. And it's that case where I will do anything to, to, to live. And that includes becoming a vampire. Um, is it wrong? Is, like, 
it is it is wrong in, in my books and and it, i think it is morally it, it it's morally wrong anyways um but i can resonate with him life isn't fair and uh, i was completely moved at the same time because um like i said it added that new layer um but Ironically, he would live shorter as a vampire, wouldn't he, than he would uh, with the tumor because Buffy would have to sort him out. Um, but it was heartbreaking, if anything. But it doesn't make and and it well, he did boot Buffy down the stairs, but it makes us feel like difficult in deciding what needs to be done because even Buffy was completely stunned and she was lost for words. She didn't know what to do, but. Uh, he still had the choice at the end of the day because he could have died with uh, integrity uh, rather than uh, uh, devoting his soul to vampirism, um, which is what he chose in the end. But it's understandable because life isn't fair, which I thought was a really uh, beautiful message to cap off this episode, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. But um, yeah, it does suck. Like um, we all have like for me especially um if i was in billy's shoes i i think i would po probably be in a similar situation because i do fear death and the fact that you've got this tumor in your head and you can't do anything about it there's a solution there's vampirism it's it's not pretty by any means but it means that you get to live it's tempting and living with this day after day and how billy described it, it is scary so i cannot blame him in so it, it, it like of course like i said he still had that choice at the end of the day he could have died with integrity um especially when buffy convinced him is this right though buffy was completely shocked at his motivation but she, but she gave him a chance to make him choose are you going to die with integrity or are you going to uh, sell your soul uh, right here right now and he chose the latter i'm actually surprised that spike did actually uh, turn him into a vampire at the end um because he well he w technically didn't fail but he just managed to get the escape especially since she held drusilla hostage but um yeah like i said it was ironic uh because he longed for uh, he he found this quest to being a vampire in an effort to live longer and um he popped out the ground and he was done like in one second um so he would have lived longer with the tumor but i think that was that point you could li choose to live with integrity and and still be humane or um yeah uh be a vampire so i resonated a lot with uh ford so and i really liked that he wasn't just this um, cheap villain. He was more complex than that. And it made you resonate so much. So, uh, and that's why I'm saying like his revelation about the tumor added a new layer to this story because it made his character quite complex like it did with uh, Ampada. Uh, she was a complex character, but she still did um actions that were completely wrong and needed to be uh, amended so um yeah i really loved the uh, society of vampires or uh, like d it's another cult isn't it in a sense because you had that um cult that was devoted to that um snake I'm just I'm just thinking back to the poor peter parker thing but i'm not going to do that uh but it was um I think this was done in a more interesting way. So I really appreciated uh, the inclusion of that fan club. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm copywriting that one. But um, yeah, like I said, Drusilla and Angel got uh, a bit of development as well, where we peeked into their backstory and we got to see a lot more humanity from Angel, where he looked like he was in remorse about what he did to Drusilla because... Um, he described what he did to Drusilla being one of the worst crimes he did during his, um, during his less pol less polite days than than it is now. But um, it was really it made you as well sympathize a bit with just uh, with Drusilla. But I actually do. I am actually enjoying her character. I'm actually enjoying 
um, Spike and Drusilla a lot more, especially when they're together. Like the bird scene was um, pretty fun. But yeah, I'm loving the personality that their characters have. They're really fun to get into, especially Spike. Um, Spike is more and more proving to be a very interesting villain, and I'm starting to love his character so much, um, as well as Drusilla. So I, I think their relationship is always fun to watch, but it was also fun to watch uh, the relationship with Drusilla and Angel. They had that conversation at the beginning, and I kind of had a feeling that Drusilla and Angel... Well, I didn't beforehand, but it made sense that Drusilla and Angel knew each other because, like I said, Spike is infatuated. Like, wherever Spike goes, Drusilla seems to follow, so uh, it would be a bit weird. Um, I don't know, this could be before Spike met Drusilla, um, that Angel, but it doesn't seem to be like that, and... Um, yeah, but it was it was pretty pretty interesting to see um that relationship at the start um be addressed and then that plays on to Buffy's trust issues with Angel, especially since Angel did lie to her. Um but yeah, I really enjoyed the human uh, humanization as well from Angel in this episode because we got to see him becoming remorseful about what he did to Drusilla because um he has now changed. Um, as well as him admitting jealousy about Ford to Willow, which I really... Willow, oh my god, I just love her so much. Like, she was so quirky in this episode that I just can't help but adore her. Like, especially with her poker face when she was forced to lie uh, to Buffy about uh, Ford. Like, it was so adorable, and I just loved it. Uh, as well as her inviting Angel in because she was not familiar with the rules and uh, the way she just um, invited Angel in was adorable. I just love her so much. Um, but yeah, um, it was great to see that uh, jealousy from Angel. Uh, we got to see that before as well in episode two of this season where he was a bit jealous of Xander. Um, but I, I like the fact that he is open to Willow. So um, And he has this... Um, he has this worry because Ford enter enters the picture. Then uh, Ford and Buffy have a bit of history, um, where Buffy had a crush on him. Uh, at fifth grade, and um, had uh, what was it? She was moping, uh, because uh, she, like he wasn't, uh he wasn't gooding for that relationship. So, uh, cute Buffy moping in fifth grade, but um. Yeah, we had Angel a bit worried uh, because Ford shows up and he is seemingly a threat, especially with the fact that Angel can't be around in daylight. So um, it is really great to see uh, it. It is really great to see Angel uh, uh, have that human uh, humanity in this episode, but also um, that regret, like I said, with his backstory and how terrible, uh, terrible he was. Not only does uh, that fit in with um, building more of Angel's character, but it does fit into uh, the theme that maybe the truth is uglier than the lie, because sometimes uh, that seems to be the case, which was the theme. Um, pretty on the nose, this episode's title, uh, the theme about lying, and sometimes it's better to lie than to tell the truth, um, especially Giles' monologue at the end where he was describing life and how blissful li uh, life is when Buffy uh, asked Giles to lie to her. Um, and that's the thing, like, life can be very hard, but you do revel in its glory moments. Uh, life, is life is never going to be... Um, uh, and, and that's the thing, like, Buffy is still young, Buffy is still growing up, uh, and I think a lot of people can understand that being an adult uh, can be a lot, uh, well, is a lot more challenging than your teenage years, than your, than your uh, child years, and it only gets harder, but you do uh, often relish in, in the good. Um, but yeah, I thought that closing speech was really beautiful another great moment between Giles and um and Buffy they have a lot of a lot of amazing moments in this show uh but yeah I really um enjoyed the the theme of lying because yeah sometimes um telling a lie is um sometimes better than the truth because we have that saying the truth does hurt 
uh, and people do have that level of remorse by thinking um, instead of revealing the truth, they can lessen the blow by um, telling maybe little white lies. But what I loved was the levels of lies in this episode because they ranged from big lies to um, to um, about like Ford, for example, sugarcoating uh, what he really does to even the small lies like. Um, Ford killing that, killing that vampire. Um, so I really liked how um, and, and as well. Well, this doesn't fit in, onto the lesser lies, more like the bigger lies because uh, Buffy wouldn't wouldn't believe it if you told the truth. But um, looking into Ford and who he really is, um, so they had to create a white light. Um, like well, Willow, like I said, with that adorable uh, poker face that she failed at, she had to create some kind of lie. Um, and we now know what a kryptonite is, coffee. So, yeah, that sucks. Uh, as a coffee lover, yeah. But, um, no, but in all seriousness, I loved the severity of the lies uh, in this episode in terms of, like, the levels and how uh, how they were all presented. Even, like, Giles as well. Like, uh, he didn't get a lot of screen time. He was on a, he was on a date with Miss Calendar. Yay, that ship. Um but even he had to white lie about his enjoyability of the monster trucks. He should have took him to a library, to be fair. Um, he would love you forever. I hope he does love her forever, but we'll just have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, I really loved the theme of lying. And and Ford even said it. Everyone lies, which is true. And, and sometimes lying is the best thing. Um, and the way... Um, certain elements work in this episode, like Buffy being skeptical about Angel... Uh, and Billy sugarcoating what he's really up to works so well with this episode. So I did really enjoy this um, so much. But it was a pretty, pretty stellar uh, episode. Uh, one with a complex villain with Ford, which I had a feeling that, I, to be fair, I did have a feeling when he showed up, something was going to happen. And then when he revealed that, I know you're the Slayer, I was like, this guy's dead because I had a feeling he was not going to stick around or whatever. Um, he could have, uh, and I'm sure there's going to be uh, the cases where uh, there's going to be cases where um, someone knows Buffy. They show up for that one episode. They were one hit wonder uh, and they're not necessarily evil or they're going to die, but we'll just have to wait and see. Just, you have that, you have that expectancy, don't you? That, oh, so you know Buffy, so you are, and, and we haven't seen your face before, so you're probably going to die, or you're probably going to turn out evil, or both, who knows. Um, which I guess, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say Ford was evil. He was just in a really, but his, like, his morality was, uh, he, he didn't choose wisely, in my opinion. Um, he... He, he had that choice to die with, with nobility uh, or be a vampire. Uh, he, he was scared at the end of the day, but he still did pretty shitty things. But I wouldn't say evil. I don't know. I I Making shitty choices and being totally evil, I think, are two different, are two different elements. So, uh, and he was a morally, uh, morally complex character. So, yeah, but... Um, it was a really great episode with a lot of character building, a lot of uh, intense storytelling and um, really amazing scenes. Like I said, that scene at the end was really beautiful between Giles and uh, Buffy. Um, and Willow was just as adorable as she always is in this episode. I love Willow so much. And I'm glad that she is my favourite character because she's just incredible. So... Yeah, but um, that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, episode 7 of season 2. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!